Mike Trout here, and I'm out here working on some shelving. Now, let me show you. This is shelving for my storage houses, and I'm actually converting one into a chicken coop and a uh, bunny, bunny place. Uh, coop, bunny coop. But I'm sure I, I've, actually, I've had these priced out. I don't know how much these cost, but I'm sure they're pretty penny. So what I did instead was I decided just to make my own. This wood is really cheap, the site, the cedar. I think it's cedar. And um, basically, um, I am making uh, these, these, these boards. They're basically the same size. They're going to be pretty strong. Um, and they're going to suffice. Um, they're not going to carry a lot of weight. Now, one of the problems I always run into is this, and I'm sure you do too, is, holy cow, either my damn, uh, they're either too big or too small. Well, just buy, these are 40 millimeter ones, just break them off. So what you can do, and I want to show you real quick, I'm going to try to do it with one hand. So, screw it in. Now what's going to happen is, it's too long, right? So it's popped out on this side. Look at that nasty bolt. So all you need to do, here's the magic. You don't have to keep buying. Grip, grip it as close down as you can. Okay, really close down. And just wiggle. Okay, and it breaks right off. Look at that. And then put this away. Now this is going to be rough. So the next stage you're going to do, and you're probably wondering, what the heck is this ball ball point of my hammer for? Well, it's exactly that. It's for basically dampening. So on a piece of concrete, whack it. So here you get hammer and just, you know, round it off. And it's nice and smooth. Nothing's going to worry about anything. See, it's all smooth. So that's all you do. Something else I've done is I've added some wood to the base of my shed here. This is high traffic, bites, scratches, everything else. I figured this is going to be where I walk a lot. So I just pulled up the bolts, bolted it down, and, you know, see how that works. Now, this is going to be the chicken coop. So I'm actually going to put a board down on the floor because I don't want, I mean, them with their claws scratching on it. They can mess it up. And here's another way you can do a board. I use this board. Um, and I actually innovated and created my own little pins that go under here, and I'll show you how to make those next. Um, I found just a strip, and I just bent it down. It goes right in there. Um, I mean, this won't carry a lot of weight on here. I could put another crossbar board under here if I wanted for more weight. Um, but uh, I need to create basically a ladder is going to come down here, and they're going to be able to nest in here. So right here is going to be an, I'm putting a board in here and another board in here. This is going to be where they're going to uh, nest and stuff, and they can walk around here. This is their underneath area here. Um, and I even may, on this corner here, this corner here, and this section here, might be a rabbit hutch. And then basically, I'll have some posts in here. Um, so the idea is basically, I open this up, and I can get the eggs right here. And then over here, I'm going to cut a uh, in the side and the chickens will be able to come out here and this is going to be their little yard area. So right now I got to work on those shelving because I know these are going to be expensive and I want wooden anyway for the chickens and I can always replace them or whatever. Um, it'll just be a nice better experience for them. My boys are running around. Thanks for watching. You know I do all this. I'm trying to get my, my children's the best food. I'm trying to get the family off is buying there's little vegetables and meat and eggs. We go through a lot of eggs. So having, you know, six chickens is going to provide us eggs for ourselves and maybe even the neighborhood. We'll give eggs out. Um, my wife doesn't know yet. It's going to be probably divorce. But, you see, my wife, if I ask her, she's going to say no. So why even ask her? She's going to build it, do it, and go, huh, chickens? I don't know where they came from. Imagine that.